Hey what's up guys, Kiyo Kimi here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys episode 1 of how to make a digigrade full suit. In this episode I'm going to be showing you the basic um, digigrade padding. Um, this is going to be pillow padding and this is just one of the most efficient ways to make the pillow padding. I'm also going to be talking about how to fur it, how to make the um, lining and all that kind of stuff in the next few episodes but this is going to turn into a series just because I know that um, a lot of people want to know how to make a full, full suit. Now I do apologize because some of my footage got deleted so I am really going to try and make up for that by putting different clips of videos in here basically explaining the same way how I made it and kind of just little diagrams on basically how I made it for the footage that did get deleted. Um, not too much of it got deleted, but some important parts did get deleted, so I'll just put those in there. So this right here is just basically a video of me outlining the um, paper pattern for my digigrade legs. You always want to draw out on a sheet of paper what you want it to look like first. So what you want to do is go into basically an app like Ibis Paint and take a picture of your suit just as I did. You want to outline your paper outline along with your duct tape dummy just to see what the shapes look like. As you could see in my video as I'm showing you right now, sorry words I can't English today, as you can see in the video I'm showing you right now, I did not like the complete shape of my pattern in this duct tape dummy so what I decided to do is adjust the lines a little bit to how I wanted it to look. As you guys can see on the top um, leg padding on my thigh, I basically just got rid of the very front edge of it and I'm going to add more foam at the top to make it sl smoothly transition into basically where my stomach is going to be. And for the bottom uh, padding on the back of my leg, I basically am going to readjust it a tiny bit and trim off a few of the edges. Um, also, I... The video that I have currently got deleted, so this is my old duct tape dummy, not my current one. So the padding, or the pattern in this video right here isn't the best, but you'll see in the next video, or not the next video, this next clip in this video, how I basically changed up the patterning. So, as you guys can see, I went ahead and I changed up my duct tape dummy's um, patterning to fit the same shape as what I wanted it to look like and now that I am fully satisfied with it I will go on to the next step. So basically the next step that you have to do is take your paper pattern once you are satisfied with it, trace it onto a bunch of pieces of foam, line that all up into the thickness that you want, carve it out so it looks like digigrade padding, go ahead and put pin it onto your duct tape dummy and then you are going to do the exact same thing in Ibis Paint as I did earlier. Um, just to make sure that it's the right shape that you want. Now you only want to do this on one of your um, one of your duct tape dummy's legs. The reason for this is that we are actually going to be doing the pillow pattern technique. The reason why you do this is so that both of the legs are symmetrical. Um, but since that clip got deleted, I'm just trying to explain it for you. This next clip that I'm showing right here is basically you want to cover your two pieces of padding, um, foam padding that you just made, in saran wrap and then put duct tape on it. You want it to be right up against the foam, but you don't want it to be squeezing the foam so that it doesn't manipulate the original shape of the foam. Um, and also, as I was trying to explain earlier in the last clip, um, that duct tape dummy is an old duct tape dummy. It is not the newest one that I have made. And the reason why I showed that clip instead of this, or the clip that I already had, is because the clip I already had got deleted for some reason, along with a few other ones. So, um, the paper pattern that I made um, on my most recent duct tape dummy is more improved, and it looks much better than my old one. So, I'm sorry if it didn't look the best in the last video. Um, also, I'm sorry for not the like most professional angle on here. I have been moving around my workspace and so I don't have a desk there anymore. I am figuring out a new spot for my desk. So basically I'm just cuddled up on the floor with a blanket. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can just see, you want to just cover your entire foam padding here with 
just saran wrap and duct tape. So basically this next part is when our foam digigrid padding is completely covered. What you want to first do before anything is make sure to label it. This um, first piece that I labeled is called F um, pa uh, leg padding, which means front leg padding. Uh, the, big, the biggest piece of leg padding that goes on the front of your leg on the top part. Um, if that makes sense, hopefully. You basically just want to label it so you don't mix up the duct tape pieces. Then what you are going to do is cut off the duct tape and make sure to include the saran wrap because if you don't have the saran wrap, which it should already be sticking to your duct tape, your duct tape will stick to each other and it'll completely mess itself up. So basically here I have now cut out um, the very very back part of it and I'm drawing a just little black line along the edge and I'm going to take the padding out of the duct tape. As you guys can see it is still basically the exact same shape as before, um, just a little bit more squishy. <laughs> uh, what you're going to want to do is cut slits all inside of your padding. To make sure that it lays flat. The reason why you want it to lay completely flat is so that when you are ready to trace it onto your fabric, you want it to be able to completely be spread out. As you guys can see, it is almost completely flat, but you but I still have the very middle, which is a little bit bumpy. So you basically just want gonna want to take your scissors and cut more into it. As you guys can see, that's what I am doing right here. And basically, you're just going to keep doing that. Um, I don't like to make too many slits. I usually like to make four and then just make them bigger or shorter depending on how flat it already is. Make sure that you actually think about how you're going to cut this before you start cutting it just so that you don't uh, mess up the 
um, duct tape because trust me, it takes a long time to have to cover the foam all over again. Basically, you just want to draw arrows where they should connect just so that you know which part goes where because if you do not, you might accidentally sew it the wrong way later on when you go on to the sewing process. You basically want to repeat this in the exact same way just with the back leg padding. You want to make sure that it is uh, cut obviously differently, but it's still the same exact technique. Um, once again, just make sure that when you go to go cut the slits into the uh, duct tape that you make sure um, when you're doing it to look at where you're gonna cut it first so that you basically make sure that you, it's gonna lay flat and so that it doesn't mess anything up so that you don't have to redo it fully because I know a lot of people that will overcut um, on it or they'll basically just cut too much 